Happy sunshine, boys and girls. I'm going to let uh, a video of Weather Wars 101 play in the background while I read you an update from my internet acquaintance in Houston. The mayor of one of the counties of South Houston, and I saw this nationally, told their residents to write their name and SSN's social security numbers with a sharpie on their bodies. How's that for a death-based system? The straw man ID written on the arm like a tombstone. All good for now. I've experienced so many hurricanes firsthand, including literally on the coast. So it can get bad fast, but this one so far has been very heavy winds and heavy nonstop rain. I do expect on my own measurements to get around many more feet of rain total by Wednesday and likely no power. Also under a ton of nonstop warnings from the National Weather System for tornadoes. I saw an article on national news saying it was though an author wrote the details of this storm to test the emergency response, the feds, all of it. And while I disagree with that quote unquote news, that was probably truth in plain sight as I find the whole event at a broader level to be man-made. It's the result of geoengineering that spans this entire continent, in my view, because the conditions that caused it were certainly at play. And then another update. Thanks, man. Same here. I generally appreciate the words. It has literally been unspeakable and remains so that the path of a hurricane could actually move so far inland and remain so intact. But sure enough, that's the path projected. I'm still thinking intuitively and based off of small data changes on high-res radar info, it is going to dissipate despite the computer models the mainstream is showing. If it, if it doesn't do this, or let's see, no, if it doesn't, this is just more clear evidence of geoengineering in my view. And they've already openly stated that this is historical on many levels, literally speaking to the fact that it's never happened before. I tell you what, man, I've got a generator and I could power a whole house on it at once, but it's all about the fuel consumption. I bought all the gas I could reasonably store and a few stations ran it up to $5 a gallon. Eventually, which is now illegal due to the uh, state of emergency declared, so mostly so far it stopped. Over the course of many days, most had lines out to the street, then ran out. Then of course, once power goes out, so do the pumps anyway. Panic had set in and it didn't take much other than the news media ramping up fear porn. I was already locked and loaded with supplies to self-sustain and could ride this out for likely weeks. But I'm in a very fragile area, both with society who's panicked and weather systems. I, locally, I saw panic society with my own eyes. And neither of these things I can obviously control. I will definitely keep you guys updated because I do have a razor sharp focus on the weather and taking care of my family, parents, and others I know. I do have to break out mentally here and there, and you have very positive things going on here. Alright, third update. Good to know. Thanks. I had also heard rumors about the oil refineries, and particularly offshore, were shut down, so it's likely going to be theft occurring at a large scale of some sort. Just wait and see what Trump does to address this, because I see echoes of that coming. Agreed, though, firsthand it's just a ton of rain being dumped along with wind and expected for many days. It's absolutely a story. The, the quote-unquote news here is just truly painful to watch. 
Still, not a big deal though yet. If you didn't own a TV and took care of yourself, you wouldn't know it's much more than a rough, long storm. I was surprised as well. I took a drive out today with a break in the rain into a couple different counties. No actual flooding yet, close to it due, due to the bayous and rivers, but it's still early in this event. However, gas prices are approximately the same, plus or minus five cents, and it's to be had anywhere and everywhere. I even saw one place that had it for cheaper, which was odd. I think it's just a matter of information control. The demand is no longer there. It's very difficult to get updated information from news sources, however, but what they have consistently told people in this entire region is to stay home, stay off the roads, and only leave for emergencies. They attempted a curfew in my particular city. It was almost immediately shot down. Keep in mind, this is Texas. I think the way this has gone down, it was most certainly manufactured. Information control is extremely tight and has gone from local governments to D.C. where Trump signed off on a disaster declaration, meaning now there is a curfew in effect despite protests. It's a short one, but it's the principle. It was described to me as the reason why it's legal right now is it is currently a quote-unquote martial law style setting. I can confirm there has been a large band of rain literally parked over Houston in the area right now since 7 p.m. It's now 10 p.m. and it's expected till midnight and it's not moving. Ton of lightning and thunder <clears throat> close by. I've lost power a few times but it came back on so just have to wait and see till morning. Still though, it's expected to curve 45 degrees north. And it's so odd and unnatural. Anyhow, take care guys. Hopefully I'll be updating with internet and power by the early morning. Thanks guys for the comments. And that's pretty much the... That's pretty much the end of the of the report from Houston there. So I'm focusing positive energy and a high vibration towards anyone who is in the path of Hurricane Harvey. And we ask Grace to take care of them and to see them safely through this storm. If you have any emails for me, lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E, -E, at protonmail.com. I love you guys a lot. Peace out. Good night.